Hello, what is another episode of Let's Play? Final, uh, Fire Emblem. Mystery of the Emblem, Book 1. Last time, we went through Chapter 3, Devil's Mountain. Or, as it's called differently in the translation. I'm I'm going off the Serenius Forest, uh, descriptions. So, let's go. At Devil's Mountain. Wall into the soldiers of Orleans. Or Aurelius. Alright. There's a ton of characters we got in this mission, by the way. The plains of northeast of Acania are ruled by the Kingdom of Aurelis. Since its formation, this northern kingdom has a close relation with the Holy Kingdom of Acania. Acania. Other countries have completely fallen, and one half of Aurelis has been conquered by Medon. However, the king's younger brother, Hardin, nicknamed the Coyote, continues fighting. It was also thanks to Duke Hardin that Acania's princess, Nina, was able to arrive safely. It has already been several months since letters were sent, containing plans to defeat the, du the Delunian Empire. But these sad cries for help were left unanswered. Facing Medonian army, or Macedon, Macedon's army, uh... Elite forces, their fates are also reaching its end. What the frick is these descriptions of the characters' names? Oh, our first bishop. Uh, bishops basically are uh, a pre promote unit, which is the upgraded mage and also white mage unit. I don't know why they're here, but okay then. Uh, archers. Oh, and Merak was a Rider's Bane. Rider's Banes are dangerous because they have the ability to basically kill uh, uh, m uh, Cavaliers easier if they're riding their things. Or flying units. Hugs Knight. Around. There's a village somewhere here. Right there. I see him. And some archers. Pegasus Knights and Cavaliers from, Med from Macedon. Two villages, okay. And one of these should be Mathis! Mathis is the older brother to print to Lena! Uh, Mathis is the brother to, brother to Lena. Mathis is a cavalier, being honestly the weakest cavalier in the game. Having swords and lances, and uh, having an iron lance on him, join, he joins chapter 4 at level 2, 9 6 movement from Macedon. From a, he's a Macedonian, and his personality is cowardly due to being bullied into this army. He is also a bit of an idiot, and because uh, you see how that recruit talked with Lena, his entire gimmick is that he is looking for Lena. He because Lena ran away and was captured by pirates, which we eventually rescued. Now here's the problem: Mathis has a bit of a uh, fog of war blindness, a major case of it, where if he sees Lena, instead of go stopping to talk with her like other, other other units in this game, which they do do. Uh, uh, look at, uh, Pala and Katria. Mathis will just straight up kill her. Uh, she'll just straight up stab her in the throat, and, uh, we'll be like, Lena, Lena, where are you? Yeah, I don't like Mathis. Uh, he's a bit of a jerk. Uh, well, not a jerk, he's a bit of a, uh, an idiot, and also, uh, well, we'll stab his sister in the face, because she doesn't recognize her. Unless she talks to him. He has good blood below, that's the only good stat. Anyways, Enough about Mathis. I'll be recruiting him as much as I don't wanna. But yeah. Anywho, there's also another cavalier here. So that's all the units on the map. Apparently. Let's go and uh, check out items. Okay, it stores one of these iron swords. Uh, weapons. Store the iron sword. And let's give Ogma another iron sword. Or maybe give him the steel sword. Marth has it, right? Yeah, just put the steel sword. And on, and on, uh, Julian, you can keep your sword for now. Keep, you take out an iron sword. You'll need it, so you don't waste the killing edge. Alright, you're good, you're good, caster's good, he has another bow that takes breaks, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, and you are. 
good. Alright, let's select you. That's Jagan Kane, Drog, A Posita, Caster, Barst Dogma, Nabarro, Lena. Well, we can't bring Le uh, Lena, so we'll have to get rid of someone. Uh, so, between Kane and Abel. I put more level ups on Abel, but Kane has been proving better. Honestly. A little bit of a. Oh no, the same strength. Derek Kane. For now. Just for now. And we'll get Lena. Because we don't need these, there's no chests on this map, so just check. We can check one more time for what matters. Yeah, no chests. Get. Alright. So let's save. And you know, let's start. Versus Nina! The Octavian Army has. Uh, actually, give me a moment to get my water. Alright, I'm back. Princess Nina, the Ultarian army has arrived from across the river. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Princess Nina, the Ultarian army has arrived from across the river. Huh? Is that true, Harden? Does it mean that Prince Moth has finally come? That's right. Now we can finally restore our army's great strength. But Princess Nina, it's going to be dangerous, so please, wait inside the fort. Won't we come back together with the Ultarian knights? Men, charge! And we get, and I'm not kidding, two, three new cavaliers and two horsemen. These are the Coyote and his Wolf Guard. Let's first start out with Mr. Co Mr. Leader of the Coyote, uh, Mr. Coyote himself, Harden. Harden the Coyote basically has starts off with a Cavalier, a and a uh, a. He starts with a Cavalier, having a sword, having good swords and good, well, having a uh, a steel sword, an iron lance, and joins Chapter Four, Level Six, has six nine is six. He's Aurelian. He has, a he has a virtuous personality, basically being a man of great virtue, and having decent growth rates. But what's really good about him is his bases. He has extremely good base stats uh, on his on the character, right, or on the Cavaliers. So he will prove pretty useful, and I will try and use him. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I will try and use him, but honestly, this game doesn't have many uh, slots, so... I'll, ch I'll, keep I'll use him for a bit, because he's basically just a better Jagan. May all use to replace Jagan. Alright. Next up on the list is, uh. Well. Oh, uh, oops, wrong character. Let's go with Sedgur. Sedgur! The Coyote's Dutiful. He is one of the Wolf Guard. He, he is the second command of the Wolf Guard, being a horseman, an upgraded uh, hunter, which I will. Which is what, uh, Caster will become when he promotes. Uh, they wield bows, having an iron bow and. It starts with iron bow, which are 4, level 1. 9 to 6, National Aurelian. He is extremely loyal to, uh, to, uh, the Coyote. Now, what's your thing? Unlike Wolves, uh, like loyalty, they have very, Tiger and Wolf have very similar personalities. Wolf is loyal to the point of blind loyalty, while Sedgur is loyal to the point where he'll overlook things. He'll turn a blind eye. That's what I explain. But, uh, not for growths. Their, uh, Sedgur's growths aren't that good, having really good HP growth, but he starts off with pretty darn good, uh... Uh... He is... Yeah, he's not that much good. But anyways... Uh, he has somewhat decent bases, so... Yeah. You can tell me well. Anyways, next up is the leader of the Wolf Guard. Mr... Mr. Ulir himself, or, uh, or, uh, Wolf himself. You know, named, the guard is kind of named after him. He kind of has to be, you know, leader. Wolf, the coyote's loyal wolf. Anyways, he has another horseman, and with an iron bow, same things. He, and again, like I explained, his personality is blind loyalty. Instead of Sedgur overlooking things, and like basically, like, of, uh, basically being like, uh, like with being completely devoted due to loyalty. Wolf is on another level of devoted. He is the point of just Harden is right in everything he does, no matter what. Like, he is unbelievably loyal. But yeah. Uh for his growths, they're pretty decent. Uh he is probably the best out like the second best out of the wolf guard, but he isn't the but he isn't the best. He's uh but yeah, uh Castor is better than him in every way. But if you, if Caster dies for whatever reason, Wolf can be a good replacement for temp a temporary replacement. All right. Next up on the list of characters is uh, is uh, Violet. 
Oh, Violent, Violent. <sighs> How art thee? Violent. Cavalier, sword, I use iron sword, an iron lance. Has the same things. It is loyal to Harden. That's it. He's less loyal than. That. If you notice, I met, I both space the help built back. If you notice, Violent is. Uh, Sedgar and Wolf basically have the exact same personality. Anyways, a violent, the wet brick of the, uh, of the, of the Wolf Guard into the Coyote's Justice. Uh, he has not good growths and also very slow bases. He's not good. Don't use violent. He is a character that you use temporarily and then drop. Heck, he, in every game he is in. But next up is probably the best out of the Legion of the Wolf Guard is Roche. Uh, Roche, by the way, uh, he is a, he starts off with the same things as Violent, but with much better growths. Now, they're worse growths than Cain and Abel, I'm gonna mind you. But, he is also loyal to Harden. But, more to what Hard, like, what Harden, uh, more to the, like, the, uh, virtuous side. He is very, he is, he is more, this base of similar things, but he has certain things you'll see later, which make him a little less loyal to Harden. But still. Uh, growth rates, uh, HP, pretty good, strength is good, uh, there's pretty balanced stats all around. But again, like I said, he probably won't reach the same highs as Cain and Abel, but he will be around the same, but he will be a good replacement if one, again, dies. But, if you play good, you won't have to worry about someone dying. Anyways, that's it for stats. For now. Because there's another character we'll actually get, but, we want to, our mission right now is to save the Wolf Guard. Uh, by any means necessary, so let's get going and start. You know? Yeah, no. Alright, there's an archer here, watch the other ranges. Okay, you're good, Sheeta. For now. Let's move Sheeta to the other side of the thing just to give Sheeta some support. Or the wolf guard support there. Uh, move you up and this way. Just again, get able. Right there, Jagan as well. Why not? And we'll send Marth. Up. Actually, move Marth this way so we get the village. Uh, Lena can stay with the main group. Uh, you move this way. And Navar, you move up here. Equip yourself the. Never mind, he actually acted the wrong button. And up here. Go ahead forward. And Caster, uh, Caster can move up here. Now Wolfguard. So for defenses, Harden has the best defense out of the group. So put him in the, uh, him and Roche, along with Violence. So let's use, use the block move you here. Move here more this forest. This mount, uh, this mount. Wait. Violent by. Wolf, yeah, just to get some support. Anyways, but yeah, main goal, save. Save time. That's the end of the turn. Alright, enemy. Enemy phase, enemy phase. And Cavalier's gonna start moving forward along with the rest of the enemy army. He's gonna move forward. Okay, thank god he's gonna move forward. Texas Knight, Texas Knight, use archers, take him out. Alright. Okay. Okay. Thieves will try and destroy the villages. Don't let them. Again, thieves will destroy a village. It's permanently gone, and you'll lose all the goodies. But Agua's at our attack. And through it. Nice job, Agua. The dawn fell. A Macedon. And now the Cavalier is gonna try to attack Agma. Kill him again. Agma being Agma is just awesome. Just speed it up a bit. Alright. Anyways, keep an eye on the on this character, Mathis. Don't go in his range. Ah, crap. Okay, moving into his range would protect like that. Wait here. Go into the forest. Wait. Alright. Don't go back at feet for them. Move Abel on the bridge. Wait. Move Jagan on the force there. Alright. 
can't attack Shida yet. Alright, let's move to Mars to the first village and get ourselves an item. Kid, what are you looking at? You haven't seen many rural towns like this? Now that you mention it, I remember the time when I went to Parathi. It was really shocked when I first saw a maniki. An ordinary looking man suddenly transformed to a gigantic dragon! It was really surprising. Well, I knew the dragon tribe had some survivors, but I didn't expect it to be so impressive. Huh? Oh, this, I found it there. I don't know what it is, but you don't see many glowing stones like this, right? Oh well, it doesn't seem normal to me. If you want, you can have it. See you, kid. Hope we can hope we meet again. We got a dragon stone, or the fire stone. That'll be important for a certain mana key to meet later. Yeah, I think next chapter, actually. Anyways, let's use an iron sword to help you. <laughs> to avoid using the killing it. Wow, oh, never mind. She wanted to protect us tonight. Oh, god. Okay, she used the, the uh, other thing. But, okay. Uh, Caster, can you attack the. No, you can't, but you can shoot the scatter. Kill that guy. Your bow. Because Caster is Caster, and he's pretty good. good. Can give him some levels. Uh, Boris, uh, you're not gonna be able to hit him anyway. So I will do it to the. Try and hit him. Oh, maybe you can hit him. That might be a one shot, actually. It's 12 damage. Oh, I missed. Alright. I could have been a one shot. Oh, I can attack the archer. That's pretty good. you. Okay. You know what? No damage. Uh, what's the fix this night's range? Oh god, okay. Okay, you stay there, Lana. And the rest of the will pack is to move forward. Forward range. You're good. You move forward, Roche. Uh, no, you s you'll stay there. Bishop's moving forward. Bishop can't really do anything, so use that to your advantage. Iron Sword, the Iron Sword, the Iron Sword battle, that hoped. Attack. And the Art, we will attack the Bowman. Much because we have, uh, set here to Stodge. The Art will shoot at Violin, doing no, barely any damage, and the Bowman will move backwards, but these will try to move around. Oh, crap! I forgot there's an extra bridge up there. Bar got hit. Oh, Pogmas took a hit. Oh! Oh! Oh, 6 HP! Okay, you have 1 to 6 HP. You have 2 HP left, but okay. Unless you double. Please, no. Oh, thank God. <sighs> okay, Navar, you got lucky. Okay, and you're moving back, thank God. Okay. Okay, I got lucky. Oh, what's your move range? Shoot! Okay. Okay, new plan, new plan, new plan. Kill a thief. He's iron speed, he's iron lance. Doesn't matter about the XP, I just need to kill them. Or the seal kill lance. I see them die, and they had a thousand gold. Huh. I need that village. Like, it's actually very important that we get to that village and save it. I uh, kill him, hopefully you double. Able. Probably not. Yeah, you know, you get double. Yeah, but still. Alright, Navar, you hopefully kill this guy? Actually, you visit the town first. Oh ho! Orcs face I can't be used inside castles! You wouldn't want those animals wandering around inside your own home, would you? The smell would be awful! Yes, basically a hint towards, uh... Inside chapters, you cannot use horses, so use it. So, good to know that. Anyways, double please. Yes, thank you. That's your first kill on the bar. And it's a little bit Hopefully you can strength and HP and defense. Skill, luck, HP. Okay, you didn't gain anything. Okay. Okay. Uh, Caster. Uh, Agma. Agma. Agma's a blah blah. Hopefully you can get stats. That's a little up. Well, five strength. Oh, there's, there's, pfft, res again. I, I, I. Pfft, don't ask how. Don't, don't ask how. I don't even know. You move forward. You move to the bridge. We 
need to get him in range. So let's check your range again. Okay, you attack the fort, that's it. Stop the sky. Cause it showed full damage. 24. The one shot kill. And you use your so dismount and use your steel sword. Just showcase the heaviness of steel weapons. Hmm. Okay, double. Oh no, I I I double him! Oh, hey. Thanks, Arden. Alright. Can't attack, so he's pegs snipe. All right, nice shot there. No, I can't attack him. He's not stab this guy in the face. Kill, but hey, I'll do the damage up too. Gets me to And Roche, you get the kill. Knock your horse again, and you stab. Yeah, that's a down. That's a down enemy. Mean. Alright. Alright, that's our important move. I mean, except you. You move back. This way. Alright. Thief will try to move, and the bishop will move. Our trouble back. Thief will move through us, I guess, or around us. Alright, and now we can claim this village for our own! And... Recruitment theme! Oh, Prince Moth! It's been a while! Huh? Oh, Merrick! Merrick! Yeah, it's me! When I was studying at the Caden, I heard war broke out, so I came to look for your highness! Really? Thank you! With you in our- with you in our ranks, I can relax! You'll help me, right? Of course! Check out my might and my skeleton magic that I learned at Cadane! We got our first mage! This being Merrick! The ult! The, it might be the best mage in the game. Alright, Merrick the Wind Mage! He is our a mage, basically using magic attacks, which, are which can attack in front of you and at range for having you to having low defense. But, at using the tomes, he has two in his inventory. Excalibur, which is wind magic, being able to attack flying enemies for basically pulling like a bow, and doing havoc high crit. While Blizzard is a, well, ice magic, doing, I think, high, high might, but low hit. Same Excalibur, because Excalibur, this Excalibur tome is the only one of his class. Blizzard you'll get more of later, towards chapter 1, level, it is, it is, uh, level 1, has 6 movement, he is from Altean, because he actually is from Altea, but moved to Kadane in order to study magic. He's studious, due to his, uh, studying nature, and he is recruited by village. Uh, he has high HP growth, low strength, good s uh, low skill, high weapon level, which is what actually matters for the for win for uh, magic. Speed is good, luck's good, defense is bad, and it's just his man. That's all you need now. He's a pretty good mage. Honestly, probably one of the better mages in this game, along with a certain other mage that you'll meet later. So let's give the let's actually give the kill to a certain Tameric. Why not? Show up magic for the first time. It's not easy, Scalper, because you can see it by 30 crit. It's pretty good. Oh, actually, Blizzard has lower might. Higher speed, huh? And is getting inspired to uh, dragons. Oh, that's the use of it. It's getting us dragons. And because no, no enemy has resistance, it doesn't matter about that. Like, uh, you basically most of the time, Miracle will do 7 damage to all enemies. And this effect has had, had a silver sword. Or, yeah, a silver sword. Wow! That's a really good item. That's the ultimate, that's basically the strongest weapon, normal sword type in the game. Uh, how far are you? Uh, what's your range? Yeah. And you. Yeah, you're the bishop, so it is pretty game. For Sheeta. Dismount. Slash. Stab the bishop! From Macedon. Slash. Slash. Sweet, sweet. And level up for Sheeta. Skill, speed, luck, weapon level, HP. Uh, st standard Sheeta level up. Weapon level is always good. And she can slowly start wielding better, so better lances. Uh, cast her. Probably a kill, but. Actually, uh, Nabar. As far as you can move. Uh. Use our, use an iron bow, got a bishop. 
Maybe because the promoted unit will get more EXP. Weapon damage. Never mind. Alright, so who gets the kill this time? Alright, Abel, how is, how is your EXP? You do need EXP. And just poke the spear. Alright. Poke! Ten damage. And Madon fell. 40 HP. He's a prone unit. And had a heal staff. Ooh. I'll be going to imme immediately see you. He's a heal staff. It's always good. I, how should I lure in, uh, Mr. Mr. Lena Lena, where are thou? What's your range? Okay. Let's move you here, Roche, and I'll unequip your weapon. Equip. And I'll take your spear with violence. Weapon, trade, take. Alright, now he has no weapon to fight with, so he won't be able to fight. Back. Four. Back, I should say. And let's wait, because that's the end of our turns. Okay. Alright, that's my way in. Mr. Lena Lena, where art thou? Lena, where are you? Have even just once, I want to see your fit you before I die. I just want to see your face before I die. And you'll do nothing. Fire damage. Well, time to recruit. For one. Lylan, give your weapon back to Roche. Uh, what? Why okay. can't. I cannot trade. Even trade. Here. And let's talk with that. Uh, Moon to Bar actually be uh, close. Ah, uh, I can't. I Agua could use it too, though. Move Agua. Wait. Move you. Wait. Give the heal staff to you. And then move to talk. Mathis, brother! Brother, it's me, Lena! Oh, uh, Lena, why are you here? I was captured by the ghoul's teeth bandits, but the Altanians saved me! But brother, why are you in the army? After you fled from Prince Michalis, Madon became more and more ruthless. The prince despised me, so he forced me to join the army and fight here. I detest fighting, but if I don't cooperate, they'll execute me. I really don't have a choice! No, brother, you should have been brave and walked on your own path. It was Madame that was wrong, for having the Valunian Empire and causing people to suffer. But what, are they, what they're doing is deplorable! Brother, it's not too late. Come with us and join the Altaian Alliance. Everyone will welcome you because they're good people. Really? I understand. I still want to die anyway. I might as well die a glorious death. However, I heard that you're, flat, you're flatly denied the prince's proposal. My life's getting hard with a sister like you. That said, you're still a woman. Are there any guys that could take your fancy? Huh? Th no, there's nobody. Oh, huh? well, sure there was. Never mind, you only reach your age to freely love. But remember that I'm about to say, never fall in love with a thief. Remember what I'm about to say, never fall in love with a thief. Huh? Huh? But, but... Okay, that's good. Well, Lena, don't push yourself too hard. I'll just go and say my farewells to the Madonian army. Oof. What I say is, oof, uh... Uh, Mathis, because, uh, she did fall in love with a thief. His name is Julian! <laughs> yeah, canonically, uh, Lena and Julian are a couple. Uh, he doesn't know that. <laughs> also, we just got five Cavaliers that we'll never use. Maybe I'll try and use Harden, but the rest I won't. Okay, let's get back on your mount. Holy crap, we need to use the crowd people. Uh, probably should move the bar. Back to this, you know, jumping, these little jumping here. 
Yukimura, you didn't really do much evil buff, actually. You did do more than I thought you did. Jagan, you keep moving back. Probably stop bringing Jagan, honestly, at this point. I might use him. And the turn. Move closer. Move that down closer. Stay still. The scars here is for the Draco Knights. If you've killed us, you'll get yourself killed by them. Thanks. I already know about Draco Knights. And Carson, there are many chests in the treasure. However, only thieves can open them. Hmm. That's us just into the two treasure chests, which will be the important next mission. Uh, and check this shop. This armory, what do you want to buy? Supply. More steel weapons, more javelins, more iron bows. We buy steel swords. Uh, let's buy two of these. Let's buy another. Let's buy some two steel ones as well. Let's see. And buy an extra iron. Weapons. Okay. What I usually do is usually use the other new characters as, uh, well, free storage. But anyways. Heal the party. Uh, you, now that the heal staff, you no longer use that men's staff, which is much more important. And heal uh, Ozma. Alright, let's lure the archer in the armor knife by doing this. Wait. Okay, I just lured it into it. Oops. Uh, be right back. My cat's behind the side. And I'm back. Okay. So. Hmm, what should we do? What's, who's, who's really not hurt? Uh, oh, yeah, I can move Dilk in there. Like, the more frog. Move there. Move like that. Move this right here. Keep you close. Uh, just now. Why not? Move Barton closer. Move uh, yeah, Bars closer. Won't be able to do much damage, but it's more or less lower men than anything. Mages, I mean, short work long by the way. We have high defense and usually really lower resistance. So we're using that. Can. I thought you moved. Yes, you don't. Alright, let's use Merrick to wipe out that armor knife with pretty deadly efficiency. Deep freeze! Some battle can be dangerous, but having somebody distract the enemy is also a good tactic. Well, never visit these towns here, but. Alright. Oh, frickin', I'm gonna use this path to heal a lot. Kill someone, but anyways, we need to do damage. 15, we have 12 defense. Actually, we do more damage than Alpha does. I'll attack you, though. Attack of 14. Uh, you have how much defense? Uh, 7 defense. Uh, so I'll move you here and wait. But for you, I'm going to attack. My turn. Okay, you can't attack anyway, so. You're good. Lure you in, though. Hit. Any hits. Nice. 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 Nice
we got an armor slayer. Ooh, that would have been bad if I hate you strong. Armor slayers are swords that does extra damage against armor ranks. Can't be like a rape here, but can use what anyone, but does not affect cavalier. Yeah, it's pretty good. Rider's Bane is a one is a one ring weapon. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, I'll attack the harden. Fail. Jam your axe in this guy's throat. And kill. And bars the left. Level 7. Strength, speed, weapon level. Eh, yeah, basically what he needs, except for HP and defense. For the love of God, why does the one gain defense in this game? Why does everyone gain resistance? No one needs resistance in this game! <laughs> why do two characters gain resistance? Abel and freaking you! Or not, what was it Abel? Was it Kane? I forget, but why do characters keep gaining res? But not Ogma! But why not strength? <laughs> why not strength or defense or HP? Anything to make characters more tanky! Stop! <laughs> The armor slayer is a sword effective against knights and generals. The rider's bane is effective against cavaliers and paladins. The rapier is effective against them all, but only if you get this. Also, all weapons will break. Use them to watch. Be clear. Oh, Anyways. Step forward. I'm trying to get the double bar again. Slayer in the bar. <laughs> Sorry about that. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh, my sneeze is all over the place. Anyways. Alright. Boo time! It's mine, or it's a nervous. I won't let you enter freely. Did I get great shielded? Or you can do no damage. Alright. This time, actually use a freaking staff! Slay him. 23. Just 10 HP. Little boy have yellow hair in your attack spray, but I guess that works. And then a lucky crit. Just shot through that. Yeah, that's the hell. And hey, we gotta ride his name. You don't think you won. Did I seize on this chap from this stuff face? No. Okay, good. I gotta put him on the throne and add it. Oh, Prince Moth, you came at the perfect time! Princess Nina had almost arrived from the fort! 
However, there are still many enemies in this castle. Please be careful. And we can save the <laughs> okay, but see you guys next time on Let's Play Fire Emblem for you. Mystery of the Emblem. See you guys next time on this channel.